This is the SEO Mindset Podcast with your hosts, Sarah McDowell and Tasmin Sullivan. This podcast is for SEO professionals and each week with the help of our wonderful guests, we discuss the important stuff that actually affects our careers and progression, but sadly often doesn't get talked about. You know, the invaluable soft and interpersonal skills that are often taken for granted, such as the skills we need for listening, time management, communication, and more. We also talk about the big issues that affect us and our careers, such as burnout, imposter syndrome, self-belief, saying no, plus other big issues and obstacles. With this podcast, we want to share knowledge on topics that unlock our listeners' true potential and enhance not only their careers, but all parts of their lives. So are you ready to prioritize your own personal growth and career development? Then let's crack on with this week's episode. Hello everyone, hopefully you didn't miss me and Tasman too much, but we are back with season six. How amazing is that? I mean, I'm excited. Tasman, are you excited? I'm doing my little victory dance. Okay, yeah, can you, be- I can't quite believe <laughs> we have done five seasons and we're back with season six mm-hmm. now. It, it, yeah, I'm very excited to bring you yet more episodes and very excited for the conversations that we're gonna have um, between ourselves, but also the guests that we've got lined up for this season. Mm-hmm. So really excited to be back. Now, this this week, our very first episode for season six, we are talking about resili- resilience in the workplace and beyond, okay? Uh, so a really important topic. I mean, I feel like I say that every time because we only talk about really important topics um but before we get into this week's episode um just a reminder of the ways that you can support the podcast so you can donate so you can give us a one-off donation um and support us so you can follow the links in the show notes to do that and you can subscribe to the podcast as well um so if you want to be notified about new podcasts the best way to do that is to subscribe to the seo mindset and again there will be a link in the show notes for you to do that as well hello tasman i know i've already said hello to you but hello 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 hello. no you know it's i'm so happy that we are continuing to do this and we are getting more and more listeners and people are enjoying the episodes so super exciting and and i have let me tell you the news are you ready for the news (laughs) i have three hoodies three hoodies now (laughs) three hoodies i know i know i'm a changed woman what can i say (laughs) you started the podcast with no hoodies and now now you're the owner of three i know i know (laughs) I mean, so that, that's my growth. Personal personal <laughs> growth is about all manner of different things, right? Yeah, absolutely. Hoodies, is. it is for you. <laughs> yes, I, I've embraced that element of my life now. But yeah, going on to the topic. So resilience, why did I choose this? One, it's an important topic, as you said. But I was recently on a webinar talking about mental health with a digital um, agency owner and somebody else. I think it was OMG. Um webinar and they said that we were talking about mental health and resilience and he said resilience is like an elastic band the more you use it the less give it's got and I thought is it though I don't think it is not necessarily resilience can also be like a muscle the more you use it the stronger it gets it all depends on what you feed it so that's the angle here. Um, so we'll be talking about resilience, what it is, blah, 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 but how to keep it strong. So that's the okay, angle. Okay, so kick us off then, Tasman. What, what is resilience? Why, why should our listeners um, be paying attention? So why do we need more of it? What is it? Okay, so what is resilience? It's the capacity to withstand or recover from quickly from difficulties and challenges. There are a multitude of challenges that people are going to face, whether it's in the workplace, your social life, your family life. Yeah. And the ability to cope with that 
or even if it's difficult for a, for a bit, you can recover really quickly, is something that's going to mean that you get on to, with the next bit of life and the next bit of life. Otherwise, you end up being really stuck, and we don't like stuck, right? We want to move on. 100%. <laughs> Um, and it's also not just individuals, but the ability of individuals, teams, organisations to adapt and recover. Because in in the workplace, again, there are going to be challenges. And if the organisation is going to move forward, if that team is going to move forward, they're going to have to have an element of resilience. And the more resilience they have um, and the better they look after themselves, the tougher they're going to get and be able to thrive. And we're all about the thrive again, are we not? Yes, yeah, we love to thrive. <laughs> so this isn't about not having the challenges or avoiding yes. the challenges. It's about facing them. Um, and we don't always call it resilience. Some people call it adaptability. Some people call it flexibility persistence there's a there's different ways of labeling it but the the crux of the matter is when you are knocked over you can quickly get up and keep moving there's uh this is going to be a um weird reference for people not everyone will get this uh, but there is that song isn't there i get knocked down but i get up again you're never gonna keep me down <laughs> i don't know if i know that one <laughs> I mean, do you know what? Like, not everyone will, and I just subjected people to my awful singing. Yeah, so good. I do apologise. Good. We've got all sorts of talents on this show. <laughs> singing is not one for me. <laughs> okay. Right. So, yeah. I mean, um, crystal clear. Then, what is resilience? And yeah, I've definitely heard the other terms: flexibility, adaptability. Uh, persistence that's a new one um but yeah i i get that how that's in the same bracket um but why 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 and where is it important tasmin so we sort of touched on it a little bit in life you are going to have challenges that could be um like i said you know in your relationships in your social life um financial difficulties T but i believe that all of those challenges are there to grow you to chip away you know if you think about a masterpiece and a, a piece of art or you know a sculpture I suppose a sculpture is a piece of art isn't it but you get what I'm trying to say all of what this is art? Art, art is art in the beholder in the eyes of the beholder but they take a million of little strokes or little chips and all of that over time creates the masterpiece that it is so in life, when you've got those challenging situations, those difficult conversations, being able to deal with them in, with resilience is further shaping your character. And it's going to make you that much better at dealing with the next one. Mm -hmm. At work, it's really valuable because, again, you've got even more. You've got your, you know, the, the economic environment, you've got the social environment, the political environment, all of those are going to cause uh, the pandemic. Let's not forget that. If you can adjust your strategies, adjust your um, the balance in your team or the skills in your team, again, you'll be better equipped to handle uncertainty, which there is plenty mm -hmm. of at the moment. Resilience is really good for your mental health because if you can see that angle, that mindset shift is, this is growing me, you can continue to, you know, have a good relationship with life and smile and not beat yourself up because you got it wrong or it didn't work. All of those, yeah. that attitude isn't good for your mental health. And again, growth. We're all about the growth. You're learning all the time. And if you can learn through challenges then that's only going to serve in your favor and i definitely think the more that you challenge yourself or the um like it's about i suppose getting comfortable with feeling uncomfortable yeah because that's when like you do learn and you do develop like if you keep doing the same things in your safety net like that that that's great and if and serves its purpose but i think sometimes we do need to um like 
push ourselves a bit, don't we? Like um, allow ourselves to grow. Um, but I think if we're doing that, then resilience is so important because we don't want to um, be put off, do we? Or we don't want to um, try something and be like, oh, wow, that didn't, do you know what I mean? Like resilience is so important because resilience helps you to continue to grow and you're gonna it's life we're humans like you're gonna find yourself in tricky situations or um situations that are hard to navigate or situations that are uncomfortable but having this resilience is definitely going to help you isn't it and help you be healthier and your mental health as well that's so important because that underpins everything your yeah. life and your work doesn't it yeah so. and you said get un- uncomfortable with feeling uncomfortable you could even take it a step further get excited about feeling uncomfortable because you know that that's where the growth yeah. is so often now i know imposter syndrome is something we speak a lot about and it's not just an inner game there are things that organizations can do to increase that sense of um, belonging which will impact that feeling anyway but say you're in a meeting and you think I don't know what I'm doing here I don't feel that I can add anything maybe you think actually I've got nothing to lose why don't I just say what I want to say and and almost treat it a bit like a game so I, I was in a situation recently where I was really scared of doing something because I thought, oh, they're going to say no. And my friend said to me, right, I want you to make 20 phone calls and I want you to get 10 no's. And it became a bit of a game. (laughs) To get the no's? To get the no's. Because I thought, yeah, I can get those. Easy. (laughs) And she said, go on then. I want you to get 10 no's by the end of the day. And... It just reframed it and took the pressure off. So then I was excited about doing that thing because I'd um, reframed. And, yeah, it's it's a different way of looking at it. Oh, 100%. 100%. Yeah, and I suppose it's it's about um, self-awareness, isn't it? Yeah. And um, knowing, like you you obviously like games um like you like a challenge or um and i think there'll be lots of people like that as well um but yeah like you should i like because i thought um be comfortable with feeling uncomfortable was like a good play on words but like yeah no you're completely right like get excited by feeling uncomfortable because you don't know what where like where it's going to bring you in the end and um yeah so so even if it even if it's um you know you've got to step on the stage and give a talk or stand up in front of your team and giving give a presentation a lot of the time you're putting that pressure on yourself but if you take the spin off you know what i'm strong enough to get here i'm strong enough to get through it and actually i've got um everything to gain and nothing to lose um, just just go for it and find those situations find those uh, opportunities um, to, to get there and just uh, another example as well is um, and this is going to resonate with a lot of people that work in SEO is things do go wrong like things break um, in marketing like things don't go to plan something um, all of a sudden decides to break um, like rankings something happens with your website visibility goes down there's so many examples of where things can go wrong um where you need this resilience to know okay what do you do to a get out of the out of your pickle (laughs) right How, how do you get out of that situation but also how do you communicate with stakeholders and people within your business and your team um to because yeah like with this resilience resilience you have such an opportunity to show do you know what like you can you can trust me i'm a really valuable like player i'm a really valuable employer um employee sorry because when things go wrong and inevitably things go wrong uh, you can count on me to work on it to get it fixed right so yeah. you can definitely prove your worth in that sense as well and, and to yourself you know how good does that feel when you think this went wrong i kept my head i especially if you're a leader and you've got a team to look after 
I've helped them navigate through it and at the end of the day we're we're up and running again. Like it, hundred okay. percent. Right, shall shall we take a short break? That I sounds, feel like this is a nice place to break, isn't it? That sounds like a good idea, thank you. What what have you got for us for part two? Let's entice people to continue listening. So we've talked about what is resilience, why it's good to be resilient. Then I'm going to tell everyone eight ways that you can improve your resilience. I mean, eight ways sounds blooming wonderful. (laughs) I mean, loads of ways that we can implement that resilience. Uh, So yeah, join us back for part two. Working on international websites and campaigns can be exciting and rewarding, but it can be challenging, frustrating, and sometimes even a little bit lonely. The International Search Summit is dedicated to all things international search and will bring together digital marketeers from over 30 countries to learn, share, and connect in beautiful Barcelona. The three-track 30 speaker agenda covers a whole host of topics across international SEO, content and paid search and is the perfect event for anyone working for global brands or clients. It's happening on the 16th of November 2023 and listeners of this podcast can save 10% on tickets with the code SEO Mindset. That code again is SEO Mindset All you need to do is head on over to the seomindset.co.uk forward slash search summit to find out more and book your place. Don't worry, I'll pop a link in the show notes and I'll also put the code in there too. Me and Tasmin have some very exciting news. You are invited to an evening of authenticity, empowerment, and connection. We're doing a live podcast, The Importance of Being Authentically and Unapologetically You, on Wednesday the 24th of April from 8pm until 11 at Projects The Lanes in Brighton. That's right, we're recording a podcast in front of a live audience. Come and join us and our guest speakers for a very important conversation about embracing your true self, why it's important and strategies you can implement. It's absolutely free to attend. There will be pizza and drinks courtesy of our amazing sponsors. During the live podcast, we'll have a Q&A session where you can join in with the conversation, ask questions and share your own insights and experiences. You'll also have the chance to connect and network with fellow SEO professionals. So whether you're attending Brighton SEO or happen to live or be in the area, this is the perfect event for you. A huge shout out to our sponsors, Systrix and Stat Search Analytics for their generous support. And let's not forget to thank Silicon Brighton for helping us organize this incredible gathering and projects for providing the perfect venue. This event would not be possible without you guys. So what are you waiting for? Click the link in the show notes to secure your tickets now and don't forget to help us spread the word and tell your friends we shall see you there thank you for tuning in for another episode of the seo mindset podcast if you enjoy the podcast and our episodes you can support me in Tasman by giving us a donation on our Buy Me A Coffee page. Uh, the URL is the seomindset.co.uk forward slash donate. You can donate as much or as little um, and, be, and we'd be very appreciative. You can also follow or subscribe to the podcast by going to the seomindset.co.uk forward slash listen. Um, So by going there, you can subscribe or follow um, on your podcast playing platform of choice. And this is a great way to be notified whenever a new podcast episode is live and ready for you to listen to. Welcome back to part two. Right. I'm very looking, very looking, very much looking forward to hearing your eight ways 
that we can implement more resilience into our life, Tasmin. Right, so I say eight, but the first four, if you can fuse them together, is where you're going to get the most impact. So though they're individual ones, the aim is fuse them. So don't chuckle at me as if I've just made some (laughs) things up, Sarah. (laughs) Okay, number one, growth mindset. Embrace a growth mindset. Um, that was our first episode, and I have to say it was still our most listened to episode, How to Embrace a Growth mm-hmm. Mindset. So if anybody wants to go back and listen to um, episode one and two of the first season, you'll learn more about that. But the growth mindset... Can I just... Yeah. Sorry, can I just say, um, we'll put a link to the, in the show notes, so if you want to... Um, yeah, sorry, yeah. continue. Yeah, thank you. Um, So growth mindset, your mindset is basically your perspective on the world. It's like putting on a pair of glasses and you'll see it in a different way. If you look at the world as that life is full of opportunities to learn, when you are faced with a situation that hasn't gone so well or as you expected, that's what you'll see. This is something, this is somewhere where I can learn something. So number one is embrace a growth mindset. Underpinning that, have a belief system that supports that growth mindset. So belief is, you know, what you think of yourself and say things like um, each learning is preparing me for a future opportunity. Yeah. Yeah. Or failure is another step towards success is another great belief to have yeah now some people the next thing i'm going to talk about is values and some people get beliefs and values merged in a way they sort of are but values are like your moral compass it's what um, what makes you decide what you're going to do even if you haven't really thought about what it is there will be your core values if you have a core value of personal growth That then further solidifies. So again, you're in a situation, things haven't gone quite right, you see it as an opportunity, you have a belief that every opportunity is preparing you for a future opportunity, and you have a value of personal growth. You are going to see it so much differently to if you didn't have those three elements in place. Right, yes. Yeah, 100%. all of that then will feed into your inner chatter because instead of your inner chatter saying things like it's all gone wrong what are you going to do i told you not to do that you create such a mess which then perpetuates that negativity you will say things like i'm strong enough to do this i'm learning every day i can find value in adversity i can figure anything out so when your mindset your belief system your values and your inner chatter are fused like that you're tough (laughs) does that make sense you are no uh, uh, no i always answer questions like no you're completely yes (laughs) yes was the answer uh it makes complete sense and i completely get why you were saying that you need those four things to become um as one um but yeah like as you were saying them all i was definitely nodding like yes um and it just so happens that you know how you spoke about inner chatter that's another podcast episode that we've done as well um so again like that other podcast episode um that link will be in this episode show notes as well so if you want to know more about inner chatter um because we go into more detail on that as well yeah. and beliefs because i did an episode with roxana on um self-belief oh yes that was a great episode about yeah. self-belief do you know what it's uh, the podcast that just keeps on giving. giving but it sort of shows you that um though those four elements if you can get those right this whole being fact about being self-aware about building your mindset your belief system your inner chatter it just gives and gives and gives which is yeah. again what we say self-awareness self-development is a key to and and you know mental health is key to everything yeah 
So those are those four. Another one is to cultivate a really support, strong support network. So this is people like mentors, managers, peers, allies that will give you guidance, that will give you reassurance, that will encourage you when things don't go right. And a person that's just popped into my mind is an old manager called Steph. So years ago, I worked in a data team that um, in a company that supplied magazines around the country. And we yeah. had this postcode file. This is years ago. You had to upload this postcode file every so often so that the allocating software knew where to sell, send the magazines. And yeah. I made a boo-boo. So basically all England stores, the system thought was in Ireland and all the Ireland stores were in England. It created a mess. <laughs> I can't imagine why. Oh, dear. And I remember that morning the allocation team saying, oh, this isn't right, this isn't right. And I thought, surely I couldn't have done that. I mean, even I couldn't have done that. But I did. I had done that. <laughs> and oh. Oh, anyway, it took all day to fix. And I remember my manager saying, it's fine. You never learn anything until it goes wrong. So thank yes. you for that. We've put another thing in place to make sure that doesn't happen again. I love that. She was brilliant. Another thing she would say was, we are only distributing magazines. No one's going to die. <laughs> so, so thank you, Steph, for being one of the most wonderful managers I ever had. Um, so that's yeah. so true, isn't yeah. it? Like, I think making boo-boos or making mistakes is definitely, it's not just a opportunity for yourself, is it? But it's an opportunity also for like the brand or the business or whatever um to exactly like your 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 boss said yeah so yeah have a really strong network around you who are going to encourage you rather than bash you down when things don't quite go your way yeah 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 next one practice self-care so this like we said this is your foundation and um if you are looking after your mental health, your physical health, your emotional health, if you're looking after your stress levels, when things go wrong, you are going to be able to reflect properly, keep your head, you've got the capacity, mm -hmm. you've got the energy. Whereas, you, you know, if you think about the times when things have gone wrong or you've snapped, it's usually because you've reached your stress capacity. So taking care of yourself yes. will let you um, enable you to handle stress better and bounce back from setbacks. Yes, yeah. And I suppose um, self-awareness comes with self-care yeah. as well. Yeah. So knowing how to, um, like, I, I, yeah, I'm, I'm very aware that I'm just sort of like saying that word and obviously mm -hmm. It takes a lot a lot of work, doesn't it, self-awareness? Yeah. And it's an ongoing journey. Yeah. Um, but if you can know how, what is self-care for you, um, so, for example, um, a bit of daily self-care that I have is, um, like, going out to take um, my be Benny the dog. Yeah. <laughs> like, always Benny the dog, not my dog or Ben. Benny the dog, that's his brand. <laughs> um but like every day I really enjoy getting out with him into nature because uh, I try to be disciplined as well and like not take, um, not be on my phone or anything like that. Um, but just find ways that you can put yourself first or um, something as well that I've noticed, realized is I really enjoy cooking. Yeah. Um, so I make sure that there is um, a couple of times a week um, where I've got time where I can enjoy putting together and cooking um, cooking a recipe or yeah. cooking some food. So yeah, that self-care is so, so important because yeah, um, it's another fundamental, isn't it? With it, resilience yeah. and yeah. It is. The number of times in the last few weeks I've said, self-care is more than bubble baths and a glass of wine. <laughs> it's not the thing that you do when you're about to break. It's a thing that you do every day yeah. so you don't break or you don't break as easily. We all we all crumble a little bit. But you, the things, yeah. um, and you've talked about creativity. So 
self-care has different buckets it's not just about the one bucket it's you know you've got your creativity bucket you've got your exercise and going outside bucket you've got your emotional your social your your growth is also um, part of your self-care if you're not investing in yourself then there will be times when you feel that so and yeah. one thing is, is that if people can get into the habit, if nothing else, before they go to bed, write down one thing that they've learnt and put it in yeah. a jar or put it in a book. I get I get people to put it in a jar now so that they can visibly see their growth as those notes keep on going into the jar. I would like to add one more thing as well. There's only two things that you need to write at yeah. night. So um, one thing that you've learnt, but also... Some, um, something that you're grateful for yeah so like it's great to see your growth but also if you can look back and just like say something that's made you feel good say something that you're grateful for like yeah. for example tonight mine might be i'm grateful for benny the dog yeah. <laughs> um yeah no i agree and actually when you're in that moment where you're trying to unpick a mess or solve something look for something positive because we pre- we're predisposed to look for the negative that's what keeps yeah. us safe whatever it is you know uh, the sun shining outside or somebody made you a nice cup of tea whatever sm- however small um and also self-care consists of when you've finished that day and it hasn't gone your way that day reframe it before you go to bed nice. don't go to bed with that negative f- imprint on your brain go with yes this happened yes i messed up here however i learned this this and this and next time yeah. i will load the postcode code file better <laughs> i think uh you shared that st- i would, um have a memory of that of knowing this story i think you've given that as an example before but it's a great great example that was one uh, of the biggest right, boobies ta- uh, right tasmin time is flying so i right. think you've got two more haven't right you, to, i shall uh, quickly say say these last two so um develop your problem solving skills so this could be um you know creative ideas this could be analytical skills so when you're faced with that situation you've got the tools to be able to move it forward um your decision making as well sometimes we get we overthink so develop all of the skills that will turn um you know a challenge into something that you can unpick and start moving it forward Um, work with diverse teams learn from other people learn from mentors seek out opportunities to work on challenging projects practice 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 and desensitize yourself to oh it went wrong you know yeah yeah Uh, um, and what is the very last last one in the list so it's i suppose it's sort of linked seek continuous learning opportunities so this could be formal or things on the job or from mentors conferences listen to podcasts that may be able to help you <laughs> Cough, <the> SEO mindset <laughs> podcast <laughs> um and yeah so you know there's that the the boosting element whether it's um continuous learning or self-care or um practicing your skills and then there's the more mindset stuff and with learning right um it doesn't always have to be related to your work like obviously um yeah learn like yes it's good to um continue to learn for things for your work but don't just do that like there's other things that you can learn so for example um something that i've recently started up is kickboxing right Mm because i wanted to learn something new um like what what do you want to learn like because there's lots like when when we're talking about seeking continuous learning opportunities don't just think about it in the sense of like what do i need for work um like it's always great to learn Mm -hmm. and like be working on that brain of ours and yeah like not only get you get to like learn something new and you never know something that's completely that you didn't think was relevant to your work or your um job type job might end up being but you get to meet so many different new people absolutely as well, surround yourself like by positive people so yeah 
that was uh yeah that no. that that's what yeah I that's agree. all i wanted to i agree yeah i agree right so tasmin what is the key thing people should take away from today's episode please i would say um don't be afraid in any situation nobody knows everything all the time yes and you can't you can't, can't know everything all the time and it's things go wrong and just because things go wrong doesn't make you bad at your job doesn't make you less valuable like yeah but you've got an opportunity to show how value how valuable you are yeah. by being resilient and yeah. um doing all the stuff that we've well the royal way yeah. tasman that you've uh, come up with and showing that you are resilient yeah. and you can and you are problem focused and you can find solutions right yep absolutely agree nobody should nobody should be scared everyone's <laughs> learning and i want to go back to your earlier point of treat resilience like a muscle yes the more yeah yeah feed the it more, well feed it well yeah. with all that good inner chatter and it will get stronger and stronger yeah yeah and because i suppose at the end of the day you can't control when you're going to need your resilience right no. you can't control the uncontrollable mm -hmm. i'm listen to me with all my uh all my puns oh. get comfortable with feeling uncomfortable you can't control the uncontrollable <laughs> <laughs> definitely picked it up from somewhere oh, definitely. Uh, but yeah having this resilience working on your resilience is like a muscle rather than a rubber band, isn't yeah. it? You wait, it'll be the name of my next talk. <laughs> <laughs> oh well, I hope I hope our listeners have found that useful. I really do. I I mean I definitely did, and I'm one of our listeners. So sure. thank you so much, Tasman. That welcome. was an awesome episode, and I'm definitely going to, um, yeah, listen back and, um, yeah. Um, look, look back at look back at those strategies because they're really easily to implement. Yeah. Um, so yeah. Oh, do you know what's going to go on my um, gratitude and the thing that I learnt? Go for it. So tonight before bed, one mm -hmm. thing I learnt. Yeah. Resilience is a, like a muscle. Yeah. You've just got to um, feed it, nurture it. Yeah. Better and like yeah, work on it. And what I'm grateful for is you, Tasmin, oh, for thank you. being a wonderful host and putting together an awesome episode. I'm sure everyone has heard this story of how Sarah and I started our first conversation because I wanted to do a podcast on poetry, never having done podcast ever in my life. Still time. Still time. Still, oh, I thought oh, you were going to oh, say, <laughs> still haven't done the poetry podcast. I was like, right, still, still time. time. And um, what started off as that very strange conversation ended up in, into this, and I'm so happy it did really happy so thank you sarah happy days no thank you right um before we go even more gushy there tasman yeah <laughs> let's get uh, on to the business of the podcast <laughs> <laughs> thank you so much for tuning in uh yeah thank you for supporting us right so yeah. we are back with season six so hopefully you enjoyed our first episode of the first season if you do enjoy what me and Tasmin are doing and what we're doing with the podcast, remember that you can uh, give us a one-off donation. Um, so if you fancy doing that, there will be a link in this episode show notes and you can also subscribe. So if you never want to miss an episode, if you subscribe, then you will get notified whenever me and Tasman have launched a new episode for you to go and listen to. Uh, so again, there'll be a link in the show notes. Wonderful. 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 Right, shall we say goodbye and until next time, Tasman? Goodbye until next time, everyone. Take care. Goodbye. <laughs>